It was Galileo Galilei who in 1612 observed sunspots moving across the sun's disk over time, therefore confirming the sun's rotation. Sunspots occur where the sun's plasma interacts with its magnetic field and can lead to solar flares and other types of solar storms. So the sun does rotate, but because it's a gas, it doesn't spin all at the same rate. Because the sun isn't a solid object, like a planet, its rotation is harder to pinpoint as well. While the Earth takes 24 hours to do one rotation, whether you are standing at the equator or close to either the south or north pole, the sun actually rotates fastest at its equator. On the sun's equator, any point takes 24 days to rotate completely around the star, while the poles take more than 30 days. These measurements have been made by using sunspots as tracers of the surface and watching them turn with a star. Astronomers usually work with a rotation rate of an area about 26 degrees above or below the equator, as this is where the most sunspots are observed. At this latitude, one complete rotation takes just over 27 days, and this is known as a Carrington rotation. The inner parts of the sun also spin faster than the outer layers, 